Have you ever had someone in a voice channel, a loud moment in a game, or an alert ruin a great clip? I'm going to show you how you can avoid that by splitting your audio in OBS. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you using Wavelink, as that's what I use for my audio. First, you need to make sure all of your apps in Windows are set to the correct inputs in Wavelink. Click the Windows sound setting buttons in Wavelink and it'll open your volume mixer. Make sure your output device is set to Wavelink system and your input device is set to your microphone. Set your apps to their corresponding input. So Discord should be set to Wavelink voice chat, Spotify set to Wavelink music, etc. For any stream alerts, they'll likely come through your system sounds, which we will also separate. And if you want your Stream Deck sounds to be on their own input, make sure when you're setting them in the Stream Deck software that you've got the output set to Wavelink SFX. If you're like me and you're running a dual PC setup, you'll have your gaming PC set on its own audio input, and then any consoles will be on the game capture audio input. Now let's head into OBS and set them on different audio tracks. I would recommend creating a blank nested scene with your voice chat, your game audio, your sound effects, and your console audio in there and an additional nested scene with only your mic input. It's a good idea to separate these from your global audio devices and your microphone, as you may not want these on all of your OBS scenes. For example, my starting screen only has the global audio devices active, and these consist of my Wavelink system and my Wavelink music. And this means they are persistent across all of my OBS scenes. Now we're gonna head into the OBS settings. We're gonna go to output and then audio. And this is where we're going to plan out your six audio tracks. I would recommend making your track one your mix down track. And this is a track that your streaming audience will hear as long as you've selected track one in the streaming settings right here. Let's make track two your mic only layer. Track three is going to be game sound, which will include gaming PCs and any consoles. Track four is voice chat. Track five is music. And track six is sound effects and system. Now keep this list of tracks handy because you're gonna need them in a moment. Now that we've got that all planned out, let's separate them on the audio tracks. This will ensure that when it comes to editing them, they will all be on different tracks so you can remove the sound effects or the music, you can lower the game volume or isolate your microphone audio. Select a scene that has all of your audio inputs present and then click the advanced audio properties icon. Make sure you expand the window and check active sources only. Now this is where the list of tracks comes in handy. By default, all of the tracks will be ticked uncheck them all aside from the track one boxes. Because as mentioned, track one will be your mix down, so you want everything coming through track one. Track two is mic only, so make sure only your microphone layer is checked. Track three is game sound, so we'll tick my Wavelink game capture and Wavelink PlayStation. Track four is voice chat, so we'll tick Wavelink voice chat. Track five is music, so we'll tick Wavelink music. And finally, for track six, we will tick Wavelink sound effects and Wavelink system. And that's it. Now when you record through OBS, including your replay buffer clips, you'll have multiple audio tracks that you can mute, lower, raise, or isolate. This is a godsend when editing and is super handy if you wanna grab any specific sound bites out of games or your own voice during streams and recordings without having to finagle it with software. I hope this helped you be more in control of your audio. Let me know in the comments if it helped and what tutorial you'd like to see next.